Okay, friends, here we are. January, what, 23rd, 24th? Saturday, about 6.30. Didn't get quite as far along as I wanted to today, but I sort of took my time. It's been a long time since I've done a tune-up, and this thing is different. And a long time since I've done sh uh, shocks. And even the, the things that seem simple have the little tricks to them that... Uh, you know, if you don't know them, it takes you longer, and the first time you do it, you can do it a lot quicker the second time. But anyway, this thing definitely needed to be tuned up. I don't know if you can tell, really. That rotary button has had it. The distributor cap, I mean, the distributor cap has had it. The rotary button. The plugs have had it. Uh... I needed an oil pressure sending unit, so I'll replace that oil pressure sending unit. Um, I usually dog engineers out because if they had to work on a car, they'd be designed differently, but uh, they've redesigned these distributor caps, and I like it. They used the firing orders the same with these small block Chevrolets, big block Chevrolets, 18436572, and that's that's in memory, that's in grain. Anybody that's worked on these things, ever, all of you, have, that, is, that is in memory for you. You won't ever forget that. But, um, and the, the wires used to be crossways of the distributor cap, just in, in the firing order. But what they've done, they've changed that. So they've got the right bank plugs on one side, the left bank plugs on the other side. So then they had to switch up how you got the firing order so you can see that sort of crisscrossing there and uh, so you still have the firing order still the same one eight four three six five seven two but the wires are arranged completely different on this distributor cap I like it it'll be interesting going back um, let's see what else can I tell you in here that may be about it in here I don't know what a bunch of that stuff up there is I don't have a clue <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't go bad. Now, some more interesting stuff. The first time I was going to tune this thing up, I got a price from Chevrolet and they said it was $800. And I said, what? When I was a mechanic, we used to tune cars up for $60. But I quickly found out it's different. These plugs are $100. The plug wires are $100. They last for 100,000 miles. Yeah, I just I changed those shocks. That's new Monroe-matic shocks. And, but you can't get to the plugs. I had to take the tires off to change the shocks anyway. But you have to take the tires off to change the plugs. Look up in there. They're going to be interesting getting them back in. Or a couple of them are. But anyway, we'll work on it. And hopefully we'll have the tune-up done. Okay, I'm back. Batteries in the camera died. But yeah, tune-up, shocks, oil pressure sending unit. We greased everything. I'll wipe a bunch of that stuff down for put it back on. I had to put these tires back on. Bought new tires last week. I had uh, the tire guys slap those front brakes on for me. I already had them. And got a new set of Michelin 10 plier eggless cross climate 3,100 pound load range. The van is a 2,500. It is 8,600 pound. GVW load range so these tires will hold a lot more than whatever the van is supposed to be carrying so hopefully that is what we need I uh, want to get a winch for the front trailer hitch for the back and trying to finish getting this thing converted to a live work play van yeah, here are the old plugs 100,000 mile plugs are $12 a piece new one. Look at little bitty dough. 100,000 miles. New distributor cap. It's 
So hopefully this stuff will go back on pretty good. Plug wires hopefully will go on good. Won't be an issue. They're going to be aggravating, but hopefully I won't have too much trouble with them. Okay, well I think that'll be it for tonight. We will get back after it. Well, I want to get the plugs in tonight, hopefully. I'll put a little dielectric grease on the cups. Not much, just a little bit. So that the boots won't uh, lock up. And some NECs on the uh, spark plug threads so they won't lock in. With 100,000 miles, you're not changing them every 12,000 miles anymore. So, keep them from freezing in. Okay, this should be it. These plugs gapped at 60 thousandths. And so, didn't have a 60, but I've got a 15, a 20, and a 25. That'll make 60. All these things should be pre-gapped, but they could get bumped and messed up in the carton. But I've already checked this one. It is dead on 60 thousandths. That is perfect. I'm going to check the rest of them and then try to get them in tonight and finish this thing up tomorrow morning. Okay. Plugs gapped and installed. Rotary button distributor cap. Wires installed. Front shocks on and installed. Tires back on. Reckon I should have waited to put the tires on and make sure this thing runs good. Well, I'm sort of used to rolling the dice, taking my chances. Let's see how it come out this time. Okay. Let the security light go away. Okay, the security light is off. There we go. Purring like a kitten. Purring like a kitten. This guy still got its mittens. <laughs> That's nice. Okay, we still got the fuel filter and the back shocks to go. I'm gonna wait till sunup to do them. Okay, next thing we're about to do is replace this fuel filter. I have already removed the fuel pump relay, which is the bottom right in there on that fuse panel. Got the starter relay out and the fuel pump relay. I've also mashed the fuel rod valve and released pressure off the fuel rail at the intake. I've removed the gas cap so there shouldn't be any pressure on the fuel system. Now there's still going to be fuel in line from that fuel filter up to the intake. I'm expecting it to drain out and we'll clean it up. But we will uh, from my memory, this fuel filter is a 10 millimeter held in by a little steel strap. We'll unbolt that. And then uh, this one will be a probably half inch, nine sixteenths. And then a pair of needle nose pliers to pinch that together down there and release that from the gas line and put this one in. Let me get down there and see what this other nut is, a bolt, and we'll get under these there and replace this. Well, I don't guess we'll be replacing the fuel filter today. As you can see, this fuel filter, both connections are the quick release type. So we won't be releasing it. We got the wrong part. And it does look like a 10 millimeter up there, or 7 sixteenths. No, wait a minute. Yeah, there it is. I have to get that strap off. So, 
We'll get that and probably replace it tomorrow up at our Murchie. Well, just to follow up on the van, I did go back to the parts store and swap out the fuel filter. Went on and changed it out, and the van made it back to our Murchie without any incident. It's running good. I'm going to fill it up with gas today and check the mileage after the tune-up. It was getting almost 14 before, so. And as strange as things are, I have tuned the vehicle up. And it got worse, or got less gas mileage than it was getting before. Anyway, I'm going to finish up this video and get it up online.